Welcome to Whiteboard Project Management channel. In this channel, you will learn the tools and techniques used in the project management in a practical way. Prepare your white sheets, grab your cup of coffee, hit subscribe, and let's start the session. Welcome back to Whiteboard Project Management. In this episode, you will learn something about the punch list during the project execution. We know that we have the timeline of the project. We have the construction phase. We have the construction or the erection phase where everything is mounted on site. Then we have the cold commissioning stage. Then we have the hot commissioning stage. And then we have the startup stage. In each stage, we have completed some part of the project and we are handing over it to the client. So once we are doing the construction phase, there are IR, the inspection requests, submitted to the client to make sure that the client is inspecting everything and giving his comments. The comments is given through a inspection request and it's the IR punch list. So by the end of the construction, we have IR1, IR2, IR3, and so on. So we have many inspection requests, and in each inspection request, we have the punch list one, punch list two, punch list three, and others. All those punch lists are completed once we are having the construction phase ready and we have the milestone of the mechanical completion. Means, once I have the mechanical completion, all those punch lists must be ready. Some punch lists need to be reported to our suppliers. Some items are not supplied properly material are not according to specifications, supply to the site or others. So those are punch lists which need to be completed until the mechanical completion. Once we are going to individual test, individual test of each um, equipment or material, then we are in the cold commissioning stage and we are having also some punch list here mostly are for the suppliers here. Why? Because we are inspecting the equipment and we are calling the suppliers to come to the site to start with the startup with the equipment, to inspect the equipment and make sure that the equipment is installed according to the uh, manuals, according to the specifications, according to the project documents and others. Those are mostly the punch list for the suppliers. Mostly, not all. Once we are ready and we can say that we are ready for hot commissioning. Hot commissioning means I am pushing now the media in the pipes and the equipment. I am now supplying the power to the cables. I am supplying the power to the cabins. Uh, everything is coming to lie, be functional and to communicate with each other. This is the hot commissioning stage where the client also will give a punch list. This punch list for the hot commissioning mostly are related for the functional of the, of the equipment. Means I have equipment A, equipment B. During the cold commissioning, equipment A is done. I have the punch list ready. 
for commissioning cold commissioning equipment B also is ready. I have no more punch list. But once I put them into hot commissioning stage and those two equipments are communicating with each other, then I have a problem with let's say signals between both or the media between both or the pressure between both or whatever. This is the punch list for the hot commissioning. Okay? Then I have a startup and this startup is the first trial run. During the trial run there will be or there could be some problems reported during the operation. To put the unit into stability, the unit should be stable, then I can get some problems that this uh, design is not sufficient or this uh, equipment is not sufficient, this parameters is not sufficient, I need to modify them. Then during the startup I have also punch list. Back to this stage for the mechanical completion, some punch lists are mandatory to be finished before you go to the next stage. Also from cold commissioning there are some mandatory punch lists before you go to hot commissioning. From hot commissioning and punch list there are mandatory punch lists to be done before you go to startup. And for startup there are mandatory punch lists to be completed before you go with reliable startup. As a project manager, you need to monitor all those punch lists to be completed, put them all in one table from the construction phase, cold commissioning, hot commissioning, startup, trial run, and set all the punch lists with their priorities and make sure that you are monitoring the punch list completion because if the punch lists are not completed, you could lead the project to be under penalty or under delay. Make sure that everything is ready and this is a simple way to discuss about the punch list and the tools or the techniques to, to make sure that everything is done on time, put them all on one table, monitor this table, make sure, contact the, the, the correct per person, contact the suppliers, to make sure that everything is finished on time or before time. So once you are coming to the next stage, the client will be happy, everyone will be happy, and you are delivering your project with high quality in time. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.